All right, welcome to healthfieldmath.com. We're going to go over the combination under the counting principle. All right, so combination is basically we want to choose a subset. Right, so let's see the example right first. So if we have five balls, numbered one, two, three, four, five. Right, but we want to choose uh, three of them. Of course, we just want to choose a set of three. It doesn't matter how we choose them, right? So over there, we have uh, five balls. Right, the way we choose uh, one, two, five, and the ball we choose uh, 152 basically is the same, right? Because we do not care about the order. The ball over there, three balls, is the same as those three. But uh, the only thing is uh, one, three, two will be just another different case, right? So what we do is similar as the permutation. Right, we're trying to, well, if we choose three, we're trying to rearrange the five ball first. But we only care about what we are choosing, right? So the order over there is not matter. The order of what we're not chosen is not matter, right? That uh, does not matter at all, but also, when we select those three balls, the, the, range, the arranging way of that also do not matter, right? So those three ball arranging in three factorial also does not matter over there, right? So that is the basic idea coming from the combination. In that special question, we have five of the ball to choose three, right? So that will be that uh, a formula over there, right? But in general, if we choose n uh, possible outcome, uh, if we have n possible to choose r from there, then it is uh, no order at all, right? So we have uh, first of all factorial the n to arranging that. We do not care whatever remaining we don't want to choose the order. And also, even though for the order, for, for, the, for the objects we're choosing, those are objects we do also do not care about the order. We just need a set, but we do not arrange in that. So also we need to divide the R factorial over there. So that is the formula. And if you want to know how to calculate the, the NCR, actually we have a calculator to help us, then we have another video to show. All right, so in the professor's class right, of 25 students, if you want to choose five uh, random students, come to uh, his office and uh, I want to talk to those students, basically. Right? That is uh, followed the way of combination. Right? Basically, those uh, five students have to be five individual different students. And of course, also they come in as a group, so no matter how uh, in order they come. Right, so we are able to use the uh, combination to do them. Right, 25 just basically choose five of them. Right, and we use the factorial. The uh, five uh, students we choose doesn't matter in order. Also, the remaining 20, I don't care at all how they are uh, arranging in order. Right, so that will be the formula of combination, but we have uh, an easier calculator way to show how to get the answer.